Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Precious and this is Precious Reads. Today I'll be talking about a series that I am so excited about and we just got an update from the author that we'll be getting the third book in the series and I'm assuming it's the final book in this series. Uh, and the series is called Queens and Monsters by JT Geisinger. Book one and two were released I think two this year and one last year. Uh, I love both of them and this author just made me change the type of book boyfriend that I like. I used to like the billionaire boy bear, a boy bad boy trope a little bit, um, but he was a good person fundamentally, but had tendencies to be um, annoying and a clown at times but then that changed totally and I was into the bad guy who is a good guy just for her so that whole morality train a uh, chain situation she introduced me to that because I wasn't always I'm not a bad well I was not into the bad boys now I am the books that I'm talking about are Ruthless Creatures and Carnal Urges by JC Eisinger and the third book which is going to be called Savage Hearts. So the first book in this trilogy, Ruthless Creatures, follows Cage and Natalie. Cage. Ah! <laughs> the thing about this, the these books, she she doesn't put everything out on the table in one go you are you go along with this romance or these romances but you don't really know who these people are entirely and that is what i found absolutely interesting and just enjoyable about it so getting back on track the first book ruth's creatures follows cage and natalie cage um Cage is a mystery man when we first meet him. We don't know why he's around. He has a very strong personality and he's just a total alpha. But you feel the underlining bad boy quality within him. And Natalie has been mourning her relationship, her previous relationship for over five years. Her fiance went missing on her wedding day and she hasn't been able to pull herself out of that sort of depression and low and just anxiety about being dumped at the altar and also by not knowing what's happened to her fiance whether he's dead or alive just a total situation um, and there comes Cage and she hasn't been able to find anybody attractive as well for a very long time until Cage Cage steps in she feels all the feelings she feels this amazing palpable attraction to him and then they start their romance the romance begins you're thinking okay this is going to be you know we're gonna find out he's part of like these rich dudes that just no no you find out that he's in organized crime and he's a big deal and there were and he was there for Natalie in the first place and not to be her boyfriend and not to be her boo, but for business purposes. And then there are revelations and it was just, it was just a juicy book with romance and smut and spanking. <laughs> Absolutely amazing, everybody, should read Ruthless Creatures by JT Geisiger. I, to be honest, I suck with reading series, but meeting Natalie's best friend, Sophie, um, so yeah, Sophie, um, I was absolutely in love with her. So when I found out that the second book would be her book, I was on board. I was on board because I was waiting waiting for her to fall in love for her to fall in love and in book two my prayers were answered my prayers were answered in book two we follow sophie 
and Declan. Sophie is, she doesn't get attached to anybody. Men are just toys to be dumped and forgotten about. And that is like the main reason, one of the main reasons why I wanted her romance and was interested in jumping into her romance. And the second was that she was so feisty. She was, she had these amazing one-liners and just carefree, independent, strong, just bossy, like sarcastic, just the perfect woman the perfect woman i'm not putting natalie down natalie is more soft and tender but you feel even in the first book when we don't necessarily learn a lot about sophie you feel like she's been through stuff and she can handle herself so she needs a man who can handle that all of that and this dynamite package that is sophie finds declan Declan is the head of a competing or a rival mafia organization and Cage and Declan are at war and it's a war that Sophie created when there was a bit of a kerfuffle in the restaurant that Cage and Natalie were in and she's been blamed for this war a little bit but hey men acting stupid is none of Sophie's business but Sophie gets abducted by Declan. He tries to use her as a pawn to get Cage to do his bidding. That blows up in his face because he starts to get feelings for this Hellcat. This crazy vegan health conscious yogi. And it's annoying to him. And I think it's annoying to Sophie as well to like have feelings. <laughs> <laughs> and the entire time that to get there, he wants her to admit how he fe she feels about him, and she's just like, "Nah, that's weird. I don't, I don't do that. I don't do that kind of thing. Feelings, gross. Um, not my jam." But she's starting to feel a little something. It could be his blue eyes. It could be his sparkling personality, AKA she calls him grumpy. <laughs> um, it could be just the way that his little gang is also like attached to her as well. Um, like she starts to create these relationships with his men that it annoys Declan at first, but then he's like, she's the queen of my castle. So her, my guy's liking her makes sense makes sense and it was just it was amazing it was absolutely amazing um just how he pulled her to him just how he convinced her that they are meant to be together just how he convinced her that this is their family all of them spider Declan and the other guys they are a unit and I absolutely loved it and again JT Geisinger had an underlining plot at the base level of the story and again it was fantastic I will say this I did not like Carnal urges as much as Ruth's creatures mainly because I read Beautifully cruel it's another mafia, Irish mafia series by her. I already, oh, I've only read the first book in that one. But there's something that happens. There's a revelation in that book that is similar to the one in this book. So I was like, uh, do I, is this, no, I don't know how I feel about this. But in the end, it wrapped up beautifully and i loved it and now she's um she's released the release date she's released the release date she's informed us of the release date for the third book uh which is called savage hearts and i don't know a lot of people are saying diego's getting a book but she's like we're all wrong i feel like the war between cage and Declan, something's going to happen. I, I 
can't wait to the 30th of September. I'm going to get the third book and I suggest you start. If you haven't started reading this series, get to it like ASAP uh, and you're welcome. And Cage is my man and you can't steal him. Just so you know, just as you read about him and you start to think that you have some sort of feelings or claims towards him, no, cut it out, stop. He's my man. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I know this is like a different video, but um, I'm really excited for the conclusion of the series. Um, I really loved it. <laughs> if you know any books similar to Ruthless Creatures, please, down in the comment section, you can follow me on my Instagram. I have it up here. And I will see you next time. Bye.